Yes, my name is Bench and welcome back to our rail tutorial series. In this episode, I feel the need, the need for speed. Speed controlling, that is. You can see here with the button, we just have a small little movement, but you can see we don't really have much control over it. We're rotating a good old 180. But I want to be able to control the speed. So, how do we do that? Well, we'll grab our rail speed controller and drop it down. You can then hit C on it and hit V on the blocks that we want to control the speed of. Now, just in this state, it's not going to do anything because we have no controls hooked up to our rail speed controller. Similarly to the way that we can actually control the angle for our rotary blocks, we can control the speed by dropping down some activation modules. So we'll do five to really demonstrate what we can do. So the way that it works is it's a proportion or uh, percentage of how many activation modules it is connected to. So if we push the button here, you see it's not going to change anything. What we might do is actually put a button over here and just bounce it around so that we can push the button and trigger it from all the way over here, which is what we want. So we've got none of it, so you could count this as like a, a th throttle and there's nothing up. We're on zero throttle, not going anywhere. If we switch one on, you'll see it starts moving. So we're at the slowest. You could say we're in first gear, not moving that fast. We're actually going slower than what we would be if we hadn't even connected anything up. If we go two now, a little bit quicker. If we go three, you can see fairly quick now. So it's just slightly over the speed that we would usually have by default. If we go, whoop, don't want to hit that, I want to go four. If we go four, a lot quicker now. If we go five, quite quick indeed. Now there is speed caps that have been set. I think that setting might be in the settings config. But you can see it will also be influenced by how heavy the object is on top. And you can see just how quick that can make things. Now what we'll do is we'll grab our linear rail or our rail basic and actually make a little bit of a circuit that we can demonstrate this as well. So we'll go like that. We'll then go up, go round again, and go down. So we'll grab our rail or our entity here. We'll dock it to that. And we'll switch this down to number one. We've got to select all the blocks that we want to control. And you can see already it started to slow down. Now if I switch it all off, same deal, it's just going to stop. So in a previous video we talked about the different ways that we can control whether or not things are going along here. And how we can stop them on the rails. This is the other way that we can do so. So that's one. We can switch it to two. See, it start to start to speed up. Three, speed up a bit more. Four, a bit quicker again. And five, even quicker still. And we could add even more. Oh, that's a button. Not going to be all that useful as a button. Let's grab a activation module. So we can chuck down it again. But it's all a proportion of it. So at the moment we're giving it 100% throttle. If we go down to half, that's relatively going to give us pretty close to what we usually get anyway, which is really cool. But being able to control all the speed from here to almost off. And you can see, because they're set up as activation modules, we could easily have logic hooked up in here to be able to control things. Um, so, that is the different ways that we can control speed. Obviously, it's again influenced by our uh, mass of the object, but we can use the rail mass enhancers to actually lighten what our ship is in proportion to, or in relation to rails, so that it actually will move quicker, if need be. But it's, uh, that will be covered eventually as well. But that's it for controlling speed here in this video.